fish tank and today I'm just gonna give you a little update on my uh, ranchu slash aranda slash whatever I decide to breed um, in my outdoor uh, raised pond I guess I would call them um, I am trying to get the uh, drainage plumbing going um, so but there's there's some things that I wanted to address in this basically so if I'm gonna have fish in there that means I'm gonna have fish poop um, which means I don't really want that floating around in the bottom of my tanks um, and I don't want to keep siphoning it off I mean I could always just siphon it off and get it out of there um, but I'm all about automation as much as I can possibly muster up so um, I want to automate this as best I can so I'm gonna be looking for ideas from you guys so if you guys have ideas on how to make sure that I keep the fish poop out of the bottoms of these tanks and I'll show you the insides of them in a minute um, please post below um, I'd love to hear some ideas because I'm really I, I mean I have some ideas but um, you know they develop as you go you know you start building a project and then you start to develop the ideas as you go along but that just means you're gonna make mistakes along the way which means it's gonna cost you money so if you've already made these mistakes, please share them with me at the bottom or at the uh, comment section below. You guys, I'm no professional, but I'm trying to basically put together some above ground ponds. So with that said, let's go ahead and kind of take a look at the overall um, design of these and um, kind of go over some stuff that I'm gonna need to do uh, in order to get these ready. Uh, one of those things is, is that I'm gonna need to actually level them um, they're not totally leveled right now and they're especially not leveled to drain into my sump tank which is under that um, once I get these built I'm gonna build basically boxes around the sump tank and then my tank on the patio um, but for now this is what I got so I need these to drain into that pipe there okay that is basically the drain pipe for all my aquaponic grow beds and so if I build two here, and then eventually I'll have two here, uh, I'm probably gonna do uh, an aquaponic grow bed, fish tank. Aquaponic grow bed, fish tank. And then I want them all to kind of drain into the same pipe and then go back into the sump. Um, I might have to change the diameter of this pipe. This is an inch and a half, and I'm probably gonna have to go two inch uh, if I have all four beds set up, but um, I'm gonna try it with the one and a half first. So, um, so these are not level and I need to raise them up a little bit and I'll show you why in a second here, but let's look at the inside of the tanks. Okay. So for now, um, well, this is the water that goes into it, right? From that pipe down into the ground comes up and then it goes into e either side of the tank, either tank here that is buried underground and it goes all the way to there, right? And then that has a little shut off valve there and you can basically run the water over here um, I have it shut off for now because I'm not really running water to it um, so anyways I've been working on some ideas and I'm trying to escape the glare here the Sun or the shadows um, so one of the things that I came up with was um, there's two ways to do this this was just an idea to have a, a this basically skimming the water off the top or skimming the water I don't think I'm gonna to need to do that since I have these and I can basically spray water onto the top of the, um, spray water onto the top of the water and that'll basically give you turbulence on the top which will, sh should clean up the top pretty good so I won't have a lot of floaties. Um, but this is the, the idea that I'm having, okay? So I basically um, put a little T here and this is the side I kinda of wanna focus in on. So I'm gonna have a pipe going down to the bottom, okay? And on the bottom there, I'm gonna direct the water, the flow of water to kind of push all the solids to this point here or around here at least, okay, to this corner. Now, over time, the, uh, this outlet right here, it'll actually have a pipe like really close to the bottom, okay, to where the fish can't get in and all that stuff. Um, but basically, as it fills up, the water fills up to a certain point, it goes into this T and then it spills over and into the drain. And that is a bulkhead there, okay? So I have that going into the bulkhead. And then if we go down here under the bottom, you see there's the bulkhead there, right? 
and then I'm gonna screw in another another piece of pipe with that little elbow right and I'm gonna have it basically connect to a main drainage pipe another inch and a half pipe okay and so you can kind of see it down that way so that's a two inch pipe and I'm gonna do a one and a half under here so I want to connect this one and then I want to connect the one over here because I did two right so I want to connect that one and this one here okay and then I want to get it to where it's going to come this way like this pipe is for example purposes it's going to come this way um, I'm thinking I might turn it here and just have it kind of go this way and around the brick and then into that pipe or I'm gonna come across here and just you know come across and go into that pipe but with that said these grow beds are too they're too short that's um, I have to have these these that drainage pipe down below I have to have it kind of tilted too so that the water drains pretty solidly pretty easily okay and then to, to make a uh, an abrupt turn like a, a an abrupt 90 you don't want to do that either so these are more of an abrupt 90 to where they turn real quick you want to have uh, you know a 90 that actually is curved and I got one already so um that won't restrict any of the flow because these need to be really free flowing okay so anyway that's the idea i'm having um i definitely need help with this idea i want everything to drain into the one pipe um and i'm hoping that with that pipe going to the bottom it'll it'll basically suck all the solids off the bottom um and hopefully that'll do it this was just like i said for for an idea but i figured out basically while i was doing this is that the lowest water level is going to be in here and and it won't come up this high so i could do this i could just kind of curve it a little bit to where it's going to just kiss the bottom of the water and then and then the water will it'll you know i could probably still use it as a skimmer so or i could take it and kind of make teeth like cut it here you know cut it here Kind of like those skimmers that you see, you know, to where it goes down really low and then it'll basically be up out of the water and then it'll be skimming all the, you know, all the stuff off the top. Um, I generally don't have a problem with uh, stuff on the top. It's more or less the bottom. So anyways, all that will go into my sump tank. And um, so, yeah, that, I mean, that's the idea I'm having. Um, I need your guys' opinion on this because I'm, like I said, I'm just developing these ideas and I'm just trying to get them going. I do have extra soil here, two big piles that I'm going to be using to basically put under these. And then I'm going to have some stones that I'm going to put under each leg to where I can level it off really good and keep it that way for years. Um, but yeah, so it's my grow beds and I'm trying to figure out the drainage. So if you guys have any ideas, um, post them below. But I'm thinking what I have will work so um i'm just worried about clogging and stuff like that but uh yeah anyway god bless you guys and uh, this is your update uh, for friday and uh, i'm gonna have more coming it's just i'm really busy you guys i'm, I'm I, I do a business and then i also do another channel um so anyway uh thank you for following me along here as well so god bless you guys and like always peace